Hello. Hello. Welcome. Yes. Good evening. Good yes. evening. <laughs> Hope you're all well. We've managed to pick up the winter cold virus. We have indeed. Um, so if you thought the singing was rough last week, oh, it's ten times worse this week. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So we will um, see how it goes. So what's happening this week? This week, right. So, the reason that it's a recording tonight is because this afternoon we were going out to play cards. Yeah. So I hope we've been able to do that. I hope the weather's been good I to do I hope so. Um, this week, well, there's Food Bank on Wednesday, Wednesday and Friday between 9 and 12. Um, the Home League on Tuesday, it's the Carol Service. Uh, hopefully all my vouchers will have arrived and agencies that I have been able to help because it's been really tight this year will have received just got a few to, to receive yet so hopefully that will have gone out on Monday um, and next Sunday it will be recorded again because it's our carol service is it? yes, in the evening all right. at 6 o'clock or are you oh, going to do something? I'm going to try and Stream it directly from the hall. So there you go. That's why I took down the two laptops to the hall today. Oh, right. Okay. Well, I was okay. busy at the food bank. So I as, haven't a clue what you were doing. As long as you don't mind the laptop being just set in the corner, and we might move it occasionally back and forward just to get the song stitch or something like that, we should be able to do it from the hall, all being well. There you Hopefully. Are. So there you go. So we may well, so we may well be live week. next week. If not, I don't know what we're going to do. Well, we'll do something. Yes. Okay. There you are. <laughs> we, we have these in-depth discussions that neither of us remembers. Or we think we've told each other things and we haven't. Yeah. <sighs> Shall I just pause it now? No, it's fine. <laughs> Okay. Absolutely fit. So, we will apologise in advance for the singing this evening. Um, there is only so much I'm going to be able to do. I'm on, what am I on? Eight steroids a day for five days. Um, I should be swinging for the lamp, actually. <laughs> like, but she's not. This is day two, um, and I'm feeling a bit floored. But hey-ho, we'll go. By the end of it, I'll probably class, but it'll be fine. Yes. Right. As long as you're not collapsed in a place that I have to keep stepping over you. Because he would do that, you know. Yeah. You could all believe that, couldn't you? <laughs> anyway. Carol's tonight. It's We're singing from the Carol book, so if yeah. you've got Christmas praise, whichever Christmas praise, I don't know if it's... New? It's new Christmas praise, but this is actually the old Christmas praise, because there's another one being... Yes. yes. But they don't call it new, new Christmas praise. They don't, no. no. So, number 29... But I do think this one is in the songbook. So, number 105 in the songbook. So if, you, if you're using the songbook 105, if you've got a Christmas carol book, it's number 29. So let's just see how this one goes. Do you know the song that the angels sang on the night in the long ago? When the hands of all with the music ran till it echoed in the earth below. All glory in the highest peace on earth, good will to men. Glory in the highest peace, good will to men. Glory in the highest glory. The highest glory, the highest peace on earth, good will to men. Do you know the song that the shepherds heard as they watched from their flocks by night? When the skies let down and their hearts were stirred by the voices of the angels bright. Oh, glory in the highest peace on earth, good will to men. Glory in the highest peace, good will to men. Glory in the highest glory, in the highest glory, in the highest peace. 
so death gives guilt to men. Do you know the story that the wise men learned as they journeyed from the east of far? What a path they paid for their night lived burned in their sight, a glorious guiding star. All glory in the highest peace, so death could help to men. Glory in the highest peace, good will to men. Glory in the highest glory, in the highest glory, in the highest peace, or death it will to men. <coughs> <coughs> We're going to take time now just to light our Advent candle um, and to share some words from Scripture. And the first candle that we lit it was to help us to remember that we always need to watch for Christ's coming. The second candle was to remind us that we are to prepare ourselves spiritually by turning from our sin. The third candle is here to remind us that we have a message <clears throat> to carry to the world. Before Jesus came, a messenger was sent to tell of his coming. We too are God's messengers to the world around us. We prepare for Christ in our own homes, but we need to tell others of Christ's coming so that they too can be prepared. In John chapter 1 and verses 6 to 13, we find these words. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness to bear witness to the light that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Shall we pray? Father of lights, this is a time of caring and sharing, a time for smiling and singing, a time for rejoicing in life itself. Let us open our hearts fully to others. Let our faces radiate the joy of your coming, so that everyone we meet will know of you and the gift of life you bring. Help us to share the good news. Amen. That was burning hot. Was it? Yeah. See the things I do for you? Oh, wow. I've got a bald thumb now. Well, there you go. Be more careful next time. We're going to turn to another carol now. Number five. Number five. Oh, help. I hope we're up to this one. It was on a starry night when the hills were bright. Earthly sleeping, sleeping calm and still, then in a cattle shed, in a manger bed, a boy was born, king of all the world. It was on a starry night, when the hills were bright, earthly sleeping, sleeping calm and still, then in a cattle shed. Oh, the angel. 
just like for him. And there's a hundred right for him. For a boy was born, king of all the world. And all the angels sang for him. And there's a hundred right for him. For a boy was born, king of all the world. On a starry night, on a starry night. That wasn't bad. <coughs> that wasn't yeah. too bad. <coughs> Considering the state we're in. We're in a bad state, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Hopefully by next week it'll be fine. I hope so. And again, maybe not. <laughs> We're going to share in our scripture reading for this evening now. It's taken from St Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, and commencing to read at verse 8. Oh, you're such a stirrer. I know. Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, commencing at verse 8. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Amen. Amen. We're going to turn to number 72 in the carol book. I don't think this one's in the song book. Maybe. No, it's not. It may be one you know, it may be one that you don't know, but uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy. I hope you enjoy listening to it. Softly the night is sleeping on Bethlehem's peaceful hill. Silent the shepherds watching, the gentle flocks are still. But hark, the wondrous music falls from the opening sky. Valley and hill re-echo, glory to God on high. Glory to God, it, re it rings again. Peace on the earth, goodwill to men. Softly the night is sleeping on Bethlehem's peaceful hill. Silent the shepherds watching, the gentle flocks are still. But at the wondrous music calls from the open sky. Glory to God on high, glory to God, it rings again, peace on the earth, good will to man. Come with the gladsome shepherd, take his name from the fold. Come with the wise men, bring in Shine and 
and sing the angel song. Glory to God, till it's again, peace on the earth, good will to man. Wave me the wreath on begging, the virgin and the <coughs> Green for the snows of winter, Happy children, for this is Christmas morn. Jesus the sinless infant, Jesus the Lord is born. Glory to God, the end again. Peace on the earth, good will to Our theme for uh, this Advent is Don't Miss Out. And uh, <laughs> don't miss out. Don't miss out. And uh, for each week we've we've thought about something different. So the first week it was not to doubt God's word. Last week was don't doubt God's kingship. And this week we're thinking about don't be left behind. And we'll talk about that a wee bit later on. Don't miss Christmas. Don't miss Christmas. Don't get left behind. Um so when I think about being left behind, I, 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 my thoughts turn to the Home Alone. Uh -huh. um, I've only ever watched the first two. I've never watched anything beyond that because I think it's a different actor after that. And I think, I don't know. First one was fine. Second one was, was okay as well. But, you know, this wee boy that's left behind mm -hmm. through, you know, the family seem to don't want to have anything to do with him. Um, and... You know, quite glad he's not there, I think. And he's left in this big house and these two thieves. Well, you, you know the story. How, how do you think, how would you feel if you'd been left behind? If I'd been left behind? I see, I don't, I don't like the idea of being left behind. No. Nope. Um, it's not particularly, no, I've, I've always wanted to be involved in things perhaps that I shouldn't have been involved. Um, I thought I was older, more capable than I was. An actual fact. So I would often press to be involved in something or nag until I was involved in something that perhaps might have been something I could have waited another year or two for. Yeah. So things like when my brother went to school. Yeah, you didn't want to be left behind. I did didn't you? want to be left behind. No, I didn't want to be left behind. So I would walk him to school and walk him back from school. Yeah. And I just don't know how my mum got away with it all. I know. Yeah. You wouldn't be allowed to do that now, would you? Shocking. Absolutely. But there we are. I walked him to and walked him back from school, um, despite him being so much older than me. Well, not as old as other people are, but... Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like being left behind. I always I was, liked to try yeah. and prove I was as good as yeah. the one who was older, so... I think about when we used to go Carolyn and Ishbel and I used to lag behind uh -huh. well, we never ever got left behind because they couldn't start the carol without me because I was the only cornet player so they used to shout get a move on so the more they shouted get a move on you know the slower we were going up a hill I know by the time you got up there you weren't fit to play anyway but probably gab that much um, on the way up but being left behind yeah I, I, I think if I go back to this Home Alone film where the wee boys left behind and he, and he does all these things, you know, to come up. But then I think, you know, he went to the shop to buy all the shopping and he's in the second film he's using his dad's credit card. And you're thinking, come on, get a life. How, how's, this isn't the real world. This isn't how it really happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just think he was a streetwise wee boy and he knew what he was doing sometimes. It was but, a film. Yeah. It wasn't real life. It wasn't real life. Yeah. But the, the, and the message of it was, you know, I, and I think there is a message in it for this true meaning of Christmas where his, his family, well, his brother, his big brother's told him about the man next door and how the man next door is really scary and then he gets really frightened of the man next door and then he actually bonds with him at, at the, at the okay. carol service. And, and he actually realised, you know, he says, my family don't like me and all the rest and, you know, they're quite glad I'm not with them and this man, his family don't really have anything to do with him. But it, it all comes together and, and everything works out well in the end. But for the little boy, 
he realises how much he has really missed his family after oh. having been left behind. But then, when um, they all do come home, they discover, I think, all the things that, like, this That he's been up to. That he's been yes. up to, you know? Yes. But being left behind, um, I don't know. I don't know if I would quite like... Well, you see, I... Can you think back to when we were back in training college? Yes. And... I think it was first year we used to go out for one Sunday to a place. Yeah. And it was different people that we were mixed up with. And one of those people um, had missed a flight at one time. And so we were away about an hour before we should have been to make sure we got there on time. And I think it might have been the day that we actually went to the parents of one of my current students. <laughs> Oh, right. And she would have been a little one in the core. Oh, yes. <laughs> Which is a bit hilarious yes. now, thinking back to it. Um, so, yeah, and, and we were away so, so early to make sure that we weren't left behind. Yeah, because because one of the first course we went to, the train didn't go. We were left behind. Do you remember that one? We were left behind. That was on Remembrance, Remembrance Sunday. Sunday. No mobile phones. So we had to go and find a phone box to phone the yeah. officer. Get off the train whilst yeah. that was still at the station, hope that it, it, it didn't. Stayed. Yeah. And then when we got to the core, she said, right, right, if you have the next song, I'll tell you what we've had. We've already done this and we've already done this. And we'll, so if you just do this and this and this. But it wasn't, I mean, we had checked at the train and, and I mean, it was going. And then at the last minute it was cancelled. So we were left behind. Not a lot we could do about that. But apparently they started and finished with the same song. I think so. That remembrance. Yeah, <laughs> but it didn't matter, you know. It's all in the learning curve. Oh, it certainly is. Yes. I think back then, I don't know, see, we panic like mad and there's things I do now and I just think, so what? You know, but 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 30 odd years ago I would have thought, oh no! And there was the birthday that Ola had when we left for the Isle of Lewis. And had to travel as fast as we could up to Scrapster to catch the boat. At six o'clock. At morning. six o'clock in the morning. Got on the boat and they closed the, the boat up behind we just us. just made it so much we were the left behind. And that was one of those things that it could have made or broken um, the birthday. Yeah, because we wanted to get up as quickly as we could. My dad said the boat won't wait because it's the freight boat. It was the first boat of the day. Yeah, it, it, it you know, if it's still loading, at six, if it's loading still at six o'clock, you're okay. And I remember getting to the top of Scrapster Road and seeing the orange light flash and think, yes, we've made it. And and going down by the guy and he just handed the tickets out because he knew our car, had the tickets out to us and on we went. Yes. It's good. One space left for us. Yeah. Not fun. Not fun being left behind. You know, or missing Ooh. that bus or missing the train or missing the boat even. Um, but this evening... Uh, we're going to be thinking about the shepherds. We are. And maybe a little twist that you maybe haven't thought about, but I'm not going to give that away just now. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm going to finish this coffee. That's okay. We're going to have another carol. Yes. Number 51. Number 51 in the carol book. Winds through the olive trees softly did blow round little Bethlehem long, long ago. Sheep on the hillside lay white as the snow. Shepherds were watching them long, long ago. Nice, I like it. 
as I was thinking about today and I was I was looking for something just to add in, I came across this reading. I, my mother was cleaning, cleaning out stuff. There was a whole shelf of Christmas books and I picked one up. Ones that my dad, obviously, because there's little carol services from different homes in Orkney that they've been to. And we, we poems stuck mm -hmm. to bits of paper and everything. So I might just take time to go through this for another year. Ooh. But it's very aptly called Don't Miss Christmas. Don't miss Christmas while yearning for the snow and planning deft manoeuvres towards the mistletoe. The turkey turning golden as the sprouts begin to steam. The pudding glazed with brandy and smashed on double cream. Don't miss Christmas as mince pie singe your tongue and you skill behind your juice as dec at decorations badly hung. Where strange relations gather like a loud annoying swarm, oh dear. Where the fat logs spit and crackle but the homeless can't keep warm. Don't miss Christmas. Beware the muddled shelves, displaying Game Boy reindeer destroying Santa's elves, whilst mortal combat shepherds chase dragons through the town. The three kings never showed their helicopters being shot down. Don't miss Christmas. Absorb the silent night and watch the fragile saviour arrive from heaven's height. As in the holy darkness a virgin strains then cries, God's helpless breathing icon appears with Mary's sighs. Don't miss Christmas, the splendour of it all. Our brittle gift-wrapped anthem sleeps in a cattle stall. As the poor and lost and starving weakly start to sing, it seems only desperate subjects recognise their king. Lots of things to think about in there. We're going to turn to number 69. This one is in the songbook too. It's number 122 in the songbook. See amid the winter snow, born for us on earth below, see the Lamb of God appears, promised from eternal years. Hail, thou ever blessed morn, hail redemption's happy dawn. Sing through all Jerusalem, Christ is born in Bethlehem. See amid the winter snow, born for us on earth below. See the Lamb of God appears, promise for eternal years. Hail the ever blessed born, hail redemption's happy dawn. Sing through all Jerusalem, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Say, ye holy shepherds, say, watch your joyful news today. Wherefore have ye left your sheep on the lonely mountain sea? Blessed born, hail redemption's happy dawn. Sing through all Jerusalem, Christ is born in Bethlehem. As we watch the dead of night, though we saw a wondrous sight, in peace on earth, told us of our Saviour's birth. Hail the ever blessed Lord, hail redemption's happy dawn. Sing through all Jerusalem, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Sacred infant, all divine, God's attendant love was thine. Thus to come from highest place, down to such a world as this. Hail the ever-blessed Lord, hail the 
ancient Sarpedon, sing through all Jerusalem. Christ is born in Bethlehem. Teach, oh, teach us, holy child, by thy face so big and mild. Teach us to resemble thee in thy sweet humility. Hail the ever blessed morn, in redemption be dawn. Sing through all Jerusalem, Christ is born in Bethlehem. <coughs> so the nativity play was going really well I might have told this story before and I don't know but it, it's a good story so I'm going to share it again the nativity play was going really really well Jesus had been born the angels had announced his birth without too much waving and nobody had run away and now Mary and Joseph were waiting for a visit from the shepherds but it never happened from the side of the stage came the raised voices. Instead of walking on, the shepherds had started to argue. I'm meant to go on first. No, Mrs Cole said it was my turn. And before anyone could intervene, the shepherds were using their crooks to smack each other on the head. Mm -hmm. Soon the three young boys were in a full-on fight. Finally, a grown-up reached the battle, disentangled them, and pushed them through a door and out of the hall. The nativity carried on, but that year, no shepherds visited the baby. Oh, dear. oh my goodness. Well, I do love watching the nativity. Uh, um, one of my great joys when we were in Fenechti was being part of um, the, the nursery. I went into the nursery in the last Christmas before lockdown. Uh, the song that they learnt was Starry Night and uh, they were all dressed up and some of the takes on what the nativity was and I, I kept saying to, to, to Mrs Gargan, the teacher look, this is how they're interpreting it it's absolutely fine if this is what they, they think happened that's absolutely fine and I just love the interpretation we had it in Airdrie, didn't we? the interpretation of the three kings uh, one who will not be mentioned but probably, you know, you would guess he mm -hmm took his luggage full of stuff and looked for his present. Yes. But anyway, there's a good take. You're on talking the, about Ireland? I could be. Okay. But I love the, 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 the take on, you know, when Jesus was born, the innocence of children who, you know, so that nativity when the shepherds never came, well, they were fighting because who was more important and everything. And there's something really incredibly fascinating and refreshing about it all. Um, and we listen and we watch time and time again to the narratives of Jesus' birth. Um, and sometimes, I don't know, there's times that we maybe sit and we know the story. So, you know, we just think, OK, yeah, that's that's what happened and that's what, you know, what took place. And sometimes if we're not careful, we might just miss something that is really important. And I'm amazed and challenged every year. When we come to decide what we're going to do for um, for our, our Christmas theme, that, for mm -hmm. Advent, how God really challenges me to think out the box sometimes. Uh, and I, I, again and again, um, to find something new from this old story. And I've looked at it this year again, and I think about the things that were not told in Scripture. You know, we're told a lot of things that happened. And in this scripture reading that, that we shared together, we um, read the story of the shepherds. And I'm challenged by this story this year. Did they all go and visit Jesus? Did the shepherds all go and visit Jesus? Did they leave the sheep? Or were there those who were left behind? I wonder what the atmosphere was like on that hillside in Bethlehem. What was the chat like? What do you think it was? What do you oh, think it was spoken about? 
you know. I, I work night shifts. You, so yeah, there were all so, sorts yeah. Of stuff, whether it was sports or, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, the chat might have been really good, or it might not have been good, it might have been rubbish. But this group of shepherds on the hillsides of Bethlehem, looking after their sheep, minding their own business, really. And nobody really bothered about them. Um, shepherds were the lowest of the low. They lived outside the village, outside the town. And uh, the sheep, well, the sheep were probably used for the, the, the lambs for the sacrifice in the temples and, and, and that, you know. But nobody really bothered. They were the outcasts of society, the lowest of the low. So the chat was going on and then the whole sky lights up and uh, angel choir, the angel gives them the message. The angel choir sings and gives them the message that the Messiah has been born. And the whole message is there. Everything that they need to know about the coming of the Messiah is there. You know, he has been born, where they will find him, what he will be in, like wrapped in swathing bands and he will be lying in a manger. They're told everything that they need to know to go and find this baby. So, after this announcement, I wonder what the chat was. Yeah. You know? Gosh, what was that? Was I dreaming? You know? Um, was there, was that really angels? Do you think a bit too much of a... You know? Who knows? And then... Was there excitement? Did they get excited about what they've been told? Or was there silence, like a stunned silence? Something happens and you think, did that really happen? And, you know, you're kind of stunned for a moment. We are told that they did speak about going to Bethlehem. Let's go and see this thing that has happened that the Lord has told us about. So they did talk about it. You know, we, we are told that. They did talk about it. But did they all go? Was there a discussion? Right, I'm going. You know, like those three shepherds in the nativity play were fighting over who was going to go on first. Was there a fight over who was going to go and who was going to stay? Did some say, I really, really must go and see this? Did some say, well, that's too good to be true. Nah, I was dreaming it all, you know. Did they draw lots? What happened? Was there those who just said, well, actually, I think I just want to stay where I am and watch the sheep. If there were those who were left behind, how did they then feel when those who did go came back and say, that they had found everything as it had been told them. These ones who did go looked in at the face of, of God. As they looked at that baby, they looked into the face of God. And their lives would never, ever be the same. And then we're told that on the way back, they told everybody about what they had seen and what they had heard and how everything had been as they, had, as they were told. There would have been great excitement. And I wonder how those who decided to stay behind would have felt. Did they feel that they had missed anything? Was there regrets? Was there a disappointment because they hadn't gone? I would imagine that, that this would have been a talking point for a long time after, even for many years to come. And I'm sure that there may be of those, if they had been left behind, that they may have regretted not having visited Jesus that night. For us in our lives and in our situations, um, there may be times when we are left behind. Times when perhaps we should have taken that opportunity that was given to us. That time when we were challenged to take a step of faith into the unknown. There's been, I don't think there's any regrets we've had, there's been times when we thought, are we mad? You know, like when we started doing this online thing, that this was a huge step of faith, but we were willing to take it. And sometimes we just have to step out the comfort zone and we just have to take that step of faith uh, and, and not be left behind in things that are happening. 
And if we haven't taken that step of faith, then perhaps um, we live with regrets. I know there have been times when we know that we've taken a right decision, however hard it has been, and we have been glad because if we hadn't taken that step, we would have lived with regrets. Uh, and we don't have that. You know, we, we took a step of faith once and said, yeah, OK, we'll go. And uh, God blessed us richly. So take that step of faith. Don't get left behind uh, and, and don't live with regrets. And at this time of Advent, don't miss out. Don't be left behind. Um, take the opportunity to celebrate Christ's birth, to tell other people of Christ's birth. And take a moment just to step out in faith and to be truly worship the Christ child at this time when we celebrate his birth. And so don't be left behind. Take the step of faith. Don't miss out because if you if you do miss, then I'm sure you will miss a great blessing from God. I just pray that God will richly bless you at this time. Be like the shepherds, go and rejoice and tell others of the wonderful birth of our wonderful Saviour. Got one more carol before we finish this evening. It's number 30 in the carol book and 106 in the song book. 106 in the song book, 30 in the carol, carol book. <coughs> one that many people will know anyway. Go tell it on the mountain over the hills and far away go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is here i've made this one low okay go tell it on the mountain over the hills and far away go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is here while shepherds get their watching so much for joining with us again this evening i hope despite all this cold and everything that you've caught hold of the message mm -hmm. um, and we thank you for sticking with us and we pray god will indeed bless you we'll look forward to catching up with you again next sunday night at six o'clock before we go we're going to light our candle and we're just going to share in a short advent prayer and so we pray May you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the Magi, and the peace of the child. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, you've done really well to get to the end of that. I know. Yes. yes. Well, we hope you have appreciated this time of being able to spend together and that you do have a good week um, and we look forward to sharing with you again next week. We will try to go live from the hall and uh, hopefully you'll be able to share in our carol service direct from there. Hope so. Yes. Have a good week. Good night. Good night. God bless. God bless you.